welcome to your Flame Fundamentals training. When it comes to saving, you have the global save, which is your entire project, and a library save, which is more of an organizational tool when moving things from the active desktop into a library. These saves are quite distinct from each other, and you need to know the difference between the two. When I talk about saving your project, I am referring to the complete state of everything. This includes what you have in the workspace and the various Flame environments. To save your project, it is as simple as clicking on the Flame main menu and choosing Save Project. An even easier way is just to press Ctrl S, which is the global standard to perform a save. You may notice that there is also a Save button next to the Undo and Redo buttons, but this only saves the desktop to a library within the workspace. Don't get caught out, as this does not save the entire project. Two other project saving features worth knowing is that Flame always uses a variety of autosaves to protect your work, and these can be tweaked in the Flame General Preferences. Secondly, when you switch projects or exit Flame, Flame will automatically save your project to ensure it's exactly how you left it when you return. Now as you work in Flame, there will be plenty times that you may have completed work, and you want to keep it safe and away from the active desktop. You may also want to keep a backup copy of your clip, or keep developing progressions of the desktop throughout your project. So the libraries in the workspace are a separate safe place that you can store anything away from a continually changing desktop. As I said in an earlier video, think of your libraries as bins or deep storage that you dip in and out of when you need something. This is not typically a place to do creative work. So starting with a very simple saving example, if there is one clip or a selection of clips you want to store in the library, just drag them into the library. This creates a copy of that clip, and you can store that in any library or folder you want. Storing in the library from the desktop will always create a copy. It will never move the item. You could delete the item out of your library afterwards, but this doesn't take up any more storage, and I also think of this as a safety net which is always reassuring. Now taking this upper level, any component of the desktop can be dragged into a library. For instance, I'll grab this reel and drop it into the library. So a copy of the reel and its contents are stored in the library. You can do this with entire reels groups and batch groups, and any metadata contained within them is copied in the library. Finally, if you want to save the entire desktop with everything in it, do exactly what I did before and drag the desktop into the library. By the way, if you rename any component including the desktop before saving it to the library, it will carry the name. If you change any names in the library, they will not update back on the desktop as these are copies of items and not linked instances. Now has the little arrow on the library sparked your interest? Well, I can tell you straight away that if you drag and drop to the libraries, you can ignore this. But if you use the Save button to save your desktop, that arrow tells you where the stuff will be stored. You can always save there, but if you create a new folder or library, you can right-click on it and set it as the save destination. The next time you click the Save button, the Save Desktop window lets you change the desktop name and it tells you the save destination. So I would say to you, drag and dropping to the library is super fast and efficient. The reason for having this extra Save button is that this allows you to save the desktop to the library even if the media panel is hidden from view. So I think this has been well thought out. Now as a gentle reminder, storing in your library like you've seen is simply copying components around the workspace. This is not saving the project. 
So every once in a while, it doesn't hurt to save your project with Control S or save the project through the Flame main menu. Please move on to the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe to the Flame Learning channel. Thanks for watching.